and what, what is it? What is it? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Whoa. I just wish I could, you know, flip. I just wanna jump in the air. I wanna soar like a cat. Man, if we could play like cats, like really play like cats. Anyway, what's up guys? Jackson Galaxy, your cat daddy here today. We're gonna talk about what? Playtime. And we're gonna do it just the way we're supposed to do it. I am confident that I'm gonna teach you something today that will make your cats tired. Yeah, tired. And isn't that the goal of playing with your cats, is to have them pooped at the end of it? So what, they don't wake you up in the middle of the night? So they don't play butthole cat and just, you know, knock things off the shelves? Yeah, that's the goal. And that is why today we're gonna talk about boil and simmer. What is boil and simmer, you ask? And why, how does that possibly relate to playtime? Let me tell you. If you're ever making a recipe uh, that calls for bringing something to a boil, usually you bring it to a boil and then you let it simmer, bring out the flavors. I don't know how to cook, but I read this once and I thought it was funny. That applies to cats in play because, bear with me, cats are very close in their energy output to their bigger cousins. And in that respect, they are built for speed and not distance. The idea that your cat will take a toy and just run, 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 run around your house for 20 minutes is folly. Unless they're kittens or teenagers past the age of about one, they're not gonna do that. <laughs> they're just gonna look at you like, don't you know who I am? And that's the key to today. I'm gonna tell you who they are and how they work. So think about how a cat actually hunts in the wild. They will spend hours just making sure they got their angles right, just making sure they have the movement of their prey right. Cats are crepuscular, which is that they hunt during dusk and dawn hours. Why? Because that's when their prey is most active. I mean, let's get back to it. This is what makes a cat a cat. They are on the planet to what? Hunt, catch, kill, eat, groom, sleep, rinse, repeat, a little bit of hugging and kissing and cuddling in between. But the thing is, once they make that commitment to get their prey, it is game on. It is run as fast as you can to try to cut off the angles, get the prey, and after that, they're gonna sit, they're gonna do it again, right? They may make a couple of runs at their prey, but that's it, they're done. So now translate this to your house, and you standing with a toy going like this. Jackson, my cat won't play. Look, Jackson, my cat won't play. And then there's this one. Jackson, why won't my cat play? As you hang it over their head and bop them on the skull with it. You see what I'm getting at? We are trying to imitate prey to the best of our ability. Part of that is our movement and the general vibe of the game itself. So really, the gig is to up in the air, up in the air, or around on the floor, around on the floor, not letting them get a hold of it. And finally, when you do, let them hold it for a second and then up again, right? You're imitating the bird. You're imitating the ground prey to whatever degree. And part of that is how fast we're gonna do this, right? Once your cat gets the hunt, catch, and then the kill and eat, which is taking the feather, sometimes walking away with it, and you have to follow along. And then, you know, up again until they're tired, sure. And once they catch it, here's the key. When your cat says they're tired, they're not. That is where boil and simmer comes in. You just brought your cat to a boil, now you're gonna let them simmer. What is simmer? Let's say two or three minutes tops while your cat sort of catches their breath, while they're lying there and you're like, oh, you know, Sparky is done playing. Mm. Now after two, three minutes, if you break out this toy again, and again, start the entire routine over again. Up, 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 don't let them get it. Up, 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 just the head going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Down comes the bird. The bird, why? Why, Mr. Bird, why did you go down to the ground? And then your cat catches it, kills it, and then we go again. Every time you do the boil, and then the simmer, and then you start again, you're working on diminishing returns because your cat is actually getting more and more tired. So usually after about two or three boils, your cat is actually done. You know, the last time you do that last play session, maybe you're gonna get a minute out of it. Maybe two minutes, tops. 
and then your cat finally is gonna be on the ground, you're gonna have your toy, you're gonna be swinging it around, and your cat's gonna be like, yeah, uh-huh, that's great, that's great. Uh, is it dinner time yet? Maybe you're gonna get a nice little pant out of your cat too. That's when you know it's time, you're done. It's okay for your cat to pant while playing, but just a very short amount of time. If they're panting continuously, you really gotta call it a day. But a couple of nice pant pants for 10 seconds, that lets you know they're breathing hard because they've been running around, so they're tired. That makes perfect sense. A full open mouth and, and panting and panting and panting and panting, not a good thing, okay? So just pant moderation. There you go. Now we have a tired cat. What's the next thing that we do? Don't forget what it is. Hunt, catch, kill, eat. Now, after we pooped out our cat, we bring out the food right away. The raw cat is thinking, well, I successfully hunted something. I got it. I killed it. Now I'm gonna eat it. Now, that may not make sense to you. You may think, oh, come on, Jackson. We're talking about a cat that is 10,000 years removed to the cat in my lap. Not so fast, my friend, not so fast. The raw cat is talking to your cat 24 hours a day through their DNA. Man, I'm telling you, it's happening. I mean, of course, in certain cats, it's a little more present, certain age ranges, a little more present, but I don't care. I don't want you to tell me, oh, Jackson, my cat's 14 years old and, you know, he's got a bum leg and whatever. That's fine. You can still play. Doing this because there's a moth at the ceiling, that's play. Looking out the window and, and watching some cat TV out the window, that's play as well. You follow it up with just a little bit. I mean, I don't care if you're 14 years old. If you go like this across the floor and your 14 year old goes like that, maybe takes a step or two, that's it, man. That's play. And that is not just about exercise. That's about mojo release. That's about the cat mojo volcano just, just bubbling up and ready to come out. And when it does come out, your 14 year old cat is like, hello, I am here to protect you and to feed the family. <laughs> Anyway, where was I? So, you guys, what have we learned today? We have learned that cats are like their big cousins. They are natural hunters. Really, really think about it on this planet just to hunt, catch, kill, and eat. One thing to remember, you guys, is that I break cats down into car categories, right? So you got like the Lamborghini cat. Lamborghini cat is, you turn the key, the cat goes and plays. Just zoom, 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 zoom. Then you've got the Model T which is the cat that you gotta kinda crank the engine for sometimes five minutes. And that means that you do your little bit where you just go around the floor. You disappear around the furniture. You disappear around the furniture. You fly up in the air. The goal is that your cat starts looking, that your cat starts really just moving around, you know, trying to get to the thing. Doesn't mean they have to run around. It just means they have to get into it. So what have you done? You boiled, you boiled, you simmered. You boiled, you boiled, you simmered. You boiled, you boiled, simmer. Well, you know, and it gets less and less and less and less until you're like me and you gotta simmer. I gotta simmer. As a matter of fact, I'm probably at my last simmer, which is, uh, toy, I'm, I'm, I'm really, dude, done, done, finished, put the toy away. Is it dinner time now? And that's it. That's it, you guys. So that is the boil and simmer technique. I'm telling you, you're gonna be happy that you know this. Just remember something, okay? It's about your cat's happiness, not about you laughing and running around the house. Sometimes you're gonna get that. Sometimes it might be a little frustrating. Sometimes even, wait a minute, a little boring. It's not about you having fun. It's about your cat having their energy drained out. So just remember that. 
So that's it, my friends. That's the boil and simmer technique. Uh, I hope that you end this video, find a toy, and get cracking with your cat because I'm telling you, it's gonna make a difference in their lives. And uh, thank you, by the way, for playing with your cats, for, for treating the raw cat, and for uh, keeping your cat as vital and mojo-fied as they can possibly be. All right, you guys, until next time, Share this video with someone whose cat needs to play and uh, make sure that they do their raw cat job. Don't forget, subscribe and ring that little bell because otherwise you won't know when you get to see me run around and run out of breath and need to take a nap, which is what exactly I'm gonna do right now. It's nap time. Light, love, and mojo to you. Bye-bye. Oi, I'm out of breath, man. That's disgusting and depressing. Uh, hold on, you guys. I just boiled. Let me simmer. Gotta simmer. <laughs> Gotta simmer. Oh, God, I'm getting old. Hey, Audrey, can you boil and simmer for me? Meow.